Hello everyone. Uh, I am Muhammad Asad Matuja. I am from uh, UNC Chapel Hill, North Carolina. And today I'll be presenting our paper titled Learning the Latent Heat Diffusion Process to Structural Brain Network from Long Longitudinal AMOLED Data. So, so AMOLED beta peptide is known to be a, a hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, and it also appears in healthy brains, but in Alzheimer's brains, it is found that uh, the amyloid beta peptides are not cleared properly. As a, as a result, uh, these uh, soluble amyloid beta tends to accumulate and harden, uh, which eventually forms a plague which is insoluble. Now, once a particular neuron is uh, attacked by these amyloid plagues, it starts to die. Uh, but not only that, it also affects its neighboring uh, neurons, which is connected by uh, white matter cracks with it. So, in this way, amyloid plagues kind of travels to brain using white matter cracks. So, in this paper, we try to model this amyloid beta propagation uh, as a heat diffusion equation. So, the problem that we are trying to solve here is that. Given amyloid deposition at previous time points, can we predict the future amyloid pattern? To do that, we use obviously the current amyloid beta pattern and also the previous ones, uh, and, uh, and also the age, sex, education, uh, and FOE4 information of the particular subject. Now, we can use a, a neural network directly to predict those values of, uh, of future time point. Uh, but there are a few troubles here. Uh, one is that we have very few time points per subject, uh, which is hard for any neural network to predict from, uh, because the data is quite noisy and quite heterogeneous. So as a result, what happens is that the neural network seems to overfit. So in, in this paper, we propose a method uh, where we train a neural network, which instead of searching in an unrestricted domain of disease process, only searches in a small disease process which follows this heat diffusion equation. Uh, we argue that uh, this, because this heat diffusion pro process is non-linear and kind of aligns with how amyloid beta propagates to brain, uh, is sufficient enough uh, to capture uh, the various dynamics that is present in uh, amyloid beta propagation. And also, as we use a neural network to predict the parameters of this heat diffusion equation, uh, it is also powerful enough to capture all kinds of heterogeneity um, in, in this simple equation. So basically, we have two different unknowns in this equation. One is rho s and another is beta. This rho s is the amyloid generation rate at each brain region, uh, which is basically equivalent to temperature uh, in a metal. Uh, and this beta is the property of uh, metal, or in our case, the property of the subject, uh, which is like education, sex, etc. To uh, so, we use a graph unit to predict this rho s uh, from initial uh, amyloid pattern, and we use a fully connected network, beta net, uh, to predict this beta uh, from various properties like sex, age, and education information of the particular subject. And from those two values, we can predict. Uh, the future time stamps of amyloid bar. Now, to evaluate our method, we do two different kinds of experiments. Uh, one is regression analysis uh, to evaluate how the future predictions are from our model, and the second is classification experiments. Uh, so, in the regression analysis, we compute our square values uh, and we compare our method with linear models and non linear models. For linear models, we assume uh, uh, a constant rate of change for amyloid progression, uh, and this method gives us 0.86 of R square value, which is pretty high. Now, next we try uh, get a recurrent unit, which is a recurrent neural network model, uh, and interestingly, it is outperformed by the linear model. We think this is because uh, our data is very limited, uh, noisy, and heterogeneous. Uh, this unrestricted uh, neural network. Uh, kind of finds it hard to generalize to different kinds of data. On the other hand, our, our model, which is diffusion unit, 
uh, kind of finds a balance between those two, where it uses the power of uh, like neural network uh, to, but it also uh, restricts the search space to be a heat diffusion process. In this way, it can outperform both of these techniques. Finally, we also present another method called adaptive unit, which is an uh, enhanced version of our diffusion unit, and we encourage our reader to uh, read our paper to more detail about this one. And finally, we uh, also do some classification experiments, which shows that um, even though our method lands in a restricted domain, it doesn't uh, lose any kind of discriminative power in terms of classification. Uh, thanks a lot for watching this pre-recorded presentation. Uh, we encourage our viewer to uh, uh, read our full paper in this, in this link. Thank you again.